Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for May 11th to the 18th. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for coming by. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Um, Pisces, if you're new, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our High Vibe community. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, you know that song? Is it by Bruno Mars? Easy comes, easy goes. Da -da 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 -da. Take, take, take. Yeah. Do you know that song I'm talking about? Da -da 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 -da. What? Easy come, easy go. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. da 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 Yeah. Came into the... I don't know. Do you know what song? I, I feel like I'm not getting it right, but I hopefully have sung that properly at least a little bit. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so we got the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the World. Oh, I love this. Uh, Jupiter goes into Pisces this week. Woo, 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 woo. Get ready for abundance. Get ready for expansion. Get ready for love. Get ready for the universe to have your back. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what that was, but anyways, just, yeah. Um, manifest it, baby. Manifest it. Okay, manifest whatever it is that you desire, okay? This is a week where you're going to be manifesting absolutely everything, okay? Bring it into the world. Bring it into the universe, Pisces. Believe it, um, okay? Um... Health, I will honor the physical vessel and shrines my soul. This Knight of Pentacles makes me feel like, okay, so here's the thing. You know, I don't consider myself a professional astrologer. I know a lot about astrology, though. Um, I was watching some astrologers and reading up a little bit more on the astrology. So a lot of astrologers are saying that from the moment that Jupiter uh, hits Pisces, which I think is like, yeah, no, I don't think, I know, May 13, 14, into like the middle of July, there's going to be a lot of luck to be had. But this is going to be like the appetizer and like the, the first course um, for Pisces. And so the things that you're working on the things that you're expanding the things that you're giving energy to this week uh these these months pisces are, are going to then like full-blown manifest themselves in the beginning of next year in 2022 when jupiter goes into pisces for a lot longer than the three months so i would really encourage you to be focused on long-term plans this week okay this is a week where you start like saying okay what do i want my life next year to look like in 2022 where am i living who am i living with what does my house look like how much money do i have in the bank um, all those things. I would really encourage you during the new moon, which I think is happening on the Tuesday that I post this. Well, I post these on Monday, but it's, it starts on the Tuesday, the video though. So I, I posted what the day before. Yeah, that makes God fucking the shadow period of Mercury retrograde gets me so badly. If you were born with a Mercury retrograde, let me know in the description box below. So we thrive during Mercury retrograde, but we it's during the uh, shadow period of Mercury retrograde. I would encourage you on the day that Taurus, well, the new moon in Taurus happens, ugh, okay, get yourself uh, some papers or doing some intentions. Listen, you got to work super duper, 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 duper hard this week and the next week coming up. Plan, design, create, envision, okay, write down the paper, it, like, you know, make a choice on a, what exactly you want that life to look like for you, Pisces, okay? And then wrap up absolutely every loose end that you possibly can. Naturally, it's not going to happen within the week, but start making that plan. Like, say, okay, where do I still feel like I'm, like, you know, falling behind? Have I done my taxes? Have I not started my workout plan? Have I done this? Have I done that? Okay, patience is super important for you this week as well. Alchemy, the ebb and flow of the universe. Trusting that the angels are with you, okay? Trusting that the angels are beside you, okay? Um, being able to see the sun even in the darkest moments. And then with the chariot here, I do feel like there's going to be a bit of control issues or stuff that's going to feel like you're going to like have to control a lot of things, okay? 
Um, love this. You got a sextile integration, cooperation, tools, skills, ingenuity, harmony, and empathy. So I was at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why I had to read that for you, but I did. And then for your actual astrology card, you got lunar eclipse, releasing the past, breakthrough, pushing limitations, healing. Yeah, we got healing twice. Listen, baby, you got to feel it to heal it. And Pisces, I feel like it. You've been on this trajectory of like success, of explosive luck, of opportunity, of abundance, manifesting absolutely anything that you want, okay? It's all yours here. It really, really is. Like you got the four ones, the magician, the world. I mean, are you ready to design the life you've always wanted? Are you ready to get a little like sneak peek into these beautiful blessings that are coming into your life? Because that's what's happening this month, um, this week. It's like the inception of these things. Now with the chariot here, I, I do want to encourage you to like stay controlled, okay? Be controlled, okay? For some of you, you would be attracting the love of your life okay new love into your life okay for others of you you may be spending a lot of time with your divine partner or your soulmate or your counterpart i i do feel like for many of you you've been single for a minute and you are finally ready to get out there and enjoy life with a partner um the ace of wands and the honeymoon is really making me feel like you're ready to embark on love Maybe you were insecure about your body before. Maybe you were insecure about what a partnership looks like. And now you're at this point in your life where like, I'm just going to give it a go. I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to start manifesting. I'm going to start vision. I'm going to go for it. Okay. Um, some of you might be like, I don't know, doing some six magic. Okay. I'm just going to call it what it is. Um, others of you might be really focusing on understanding what exactly you want in a like partner what kind of love do you want what kind of relationship do you want okay but you're really focused on calling in that soulmate Pisces I get this energy this week where you're like I'm a master manifester and I'm going to manifest everything and I love that for you I love that so much Fleur and the five of swords yeah I really feel like I love that justice is at the bottom of the deck for you too I really feel like you're coming into this place Pisces where you're like okay I'm done being a Debbie Downer I'm done being a negative Nancy I'm done being self deprecating I'm done being my own worst enemy. I know that everything that's happened to me is happening for me, not to me. I know that I'm meant to learn through these things. And now as I'm experiencing these career shifts, this these life changes, this abundance, the, this rooted stability, I'm, I'm also going to have patience and practice self-restraint and self-control so that I'm able to attract absolutely everything that I want. And in order to have, you know, all these things, career, love, finance, stability, whatever that looks like for you, because it's going to be different for all of us, I know that I need to heal. It's like at the root issue of all the obstacles in your life, all the adversity, all the challenges, all the things that may have held you back in your life, uh, Pisces is that healing. So focus this week on healing, on taking care of you, on releasing, on setting the intentions, more importantly, on starting to manifest the life that you've always desired. That's pretty spectacular if you ask me. All right, Pisces, if you're interested in shopping over at Starcy and picking up a modern day amulet, I create bracelets. Necklaces come out this week. So if you're into necklaces, I got real gold pieces coming out and also beaded pieces. This is a uh, gold chain, 14 karat gold with a nice clear quartz. There's also going to be one with rose quartz and amazonite. But what? And then uh, this is a new bracelet again, uh, either gold filled or gold chain. These are this piece is all about like transmuting evil eye and uh, attracting happiness, tranquility, and peace into your life. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of new pieces up on the site this week as well as other bracelets for you to shop. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. If you want to book a private live one hour in the description box below as well. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.